why am I in here, man? You gotta, I, I didn't do anything. You gotta let me out of here. Come on, man. Don't... I know you're scared. I already told you, I don't know anything. So you just happened to be frantically running a block away from an armed robbery with a bloodstained shirt on? I was in the store, buying food when two guys I don't know came in and held up the store. I don't have any- Cut the crap! We know you were part of the robbery, and we want to know who else was in on it. You don't know anything! You think I'm stupid? There was a surveillance camera across the street that shows you talking with the two suspects before you went to the store. So at the very least, you know them. And at the most, you were in on the robbery. And you do nothing. That's not what it looks like to us. So you can either start talking, or we can pin the charges on. And if that poor clerk who was shot ends up dying, you're gonna be the one who's held responsible. Okay. I recognize the two kids from school. They asked me for the time, but I swear, that's it. I don't know their names. To start, how'd you get blood all over your shirt? I have blood on this shirt. The one we confiscated. Paying for my food when they came in with their guns drawn and shot the clerk. The cash register was still open, so they grabbed the cash and ran. And why would they let you go? You clearly saw their faces and possibly witnessed a murder. I was running because I was scared and I didn't know what else to do. I don't know why they left me. I didn't really have time to think about that. You know what I think? No, tell me. I think you were part of the plan. Once they saw the clerk open the cash register for you, they were gonna shoot him and take the money while it was still open and run. Well, if that was a plan, nobody told me about it. Can I go now? I told you everything I know. You were found running away from the scene of a bloody crime. So you're gonna stay here until I have enough information to catch these scumbags. But I already told you everything. Clerk's dead. This is now a murder investigation, and you are the only one with connection to the perps. So you're gonna tell me their names now. I already <laughs> find us out to put this piece of waste in for the night. Wait. You got something to say? The taller kid with the red jacket's name is Pat Fisher. We used to play hockey together. I don't know the other kid's name, I swear. Go back outside and wait. I'm just starting to make some progress.